Welcome to Weld.com. Welcome to the hot days of MIG Monday. I got some CO2 for you today, straight CO2. Now, when I started out welding in the 70s, uh, one of the shops that I worked at was called Heater Technology in Ponca City, Oklahoma, and we used straight CO2 gas exclusively on a lot of our piping procedures and a lot of our general fabrication. Um, you know, over the years, a very popular gas to use with short circuiting and globular transfer is C25, 75% argon and 25% CO2. Uh, CO2 is cheap. I mean, a straight up CO2 is just, you know, it's less expensive than C25. So people still use it. I think a lot of, I think a lot of the usage that, that I know about is uh, running flux core wires uh, where you, we want to get away from that expense, offset the cost of the flux core wire. A lot of the stuff that I run in this shop has been with C25, but I want to do some demonstrations here. I want to do a fillet weld, a lap weld. I want to do this outside corner joint. Probably run a little downhill. I want to, I want to do some low values here and maybe go uphill with the cap to see what I can get away with. And then I want to run some beads on this plate and I want to show you that CO2 is decent gas for short arc and some globular, it starts to become unstable when you start turning it up. Uh, I'm running off of a ESOB Rebel 235 IC today and I'm running, I'm going to start out running 20 volts, 180 inches a minute on the wire feed speed to run these two welds. I may adjust the value, go down in volts. We'll see what happens. This got a fair amount of gap to it. It's also a little bit bent from the shear, but that's okay. Good eighth inch gap in here. Not going to be alarmed with it. And then I want to, you know, to show depth on what CO2 actually does getting into a weld. I just want to knock this out and I want to cut an etch for you. So uh, let me grab my sleeves, safety glasses, hood, be right back. This should be right around 20 volts and 100 amps. Pretty smooth, looks like it's rolling up a little bit. wire pointed straight in pretty much. Got a nice round effect to it. I turn this up a half of a volt to make this fillet weld. Three sixteenths material, 035 wire. Not trying to make a very big weld. Gentle stick. Actually, it looks like I want to go up higher in voltage. First weld we did was a lap weld, and uh, it ran in okay. It's got a nice round contour to it. The second weld we did, uh, same values, was the fillet weld. Actually, I think I, I did go up. I went up a half a volt, 20 and a half, and then I turned it around, ran a little bit, 21. A little unstable. I, I'm kind of noticing that it's getting to that point. Still ran in pretty good. Different sound, uh, a little bit different color. And we're gonna, I'm going to cut and etch this, and I'll be able to tell you which side's which. I want to cut and etch that lap weld, too. I want to do another weld. My last weld here is an outside corner joint. And 
I was going to goof around and try to do a, a two pass thing, but it's not getting a good reaction here. I just want to do the whole thing and just leave it finished, show some depth of penetration here and everything. Just I want you to hear this and I uh, want the camera guy to zoom in here and see if he can't. It, it's definitely a different arc characteristic. So 20 volts, 160 inches a minute wire feed speed, CO2 gas. Come on, darling, hang in there, you can do it. different color and uh, I swear I've got a little porosity up here on top I don't know if my my vent is sucking that uh, shielding gas away shouldn't be we've got some deposits that are flicking off here as they cool off another really good reason for you to be wearing safety glasses at all times got a little different grain structure and a little color to it again straight co2 is a little it's a little raspy if i turn this over we should show some good now we could go finish that out oh what are you stuck there we could go finish that out with a, a light sand we've got a nice bead on the back side here that's wow i should be a welder that's kind of nice it's been a long time since I run this. I'd probably run it. I'd be interested in running it more on sheet metal than I would on heavy stuff. You know, the whole thing is CO2, you can use it. I'd be interested in doing short arc. I would not be interested in doing heavy, heavy plates. You can do globular with it. You know, it's okay. I don't have any heavy material cut here, but hey, I hope this helps. It's been a long time since I ran CO2 and I've I see benefit to it. I wouldn't be scared to using it. It's just a little, it's a little rough, you know. Thanks for watching Weld.com. Please subscribe to the videos. Thank you. Did you get that? Yeah. Like that? It's nice. It's all right. Think that, think that'll hold up? I think the back. <laughs> he thinks the backside looks better than the front side. You know, I kind of agree with you too. <laughs> <laughs>